Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites. And I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go check out my video. If you wanna get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite, or in this case today, another one of my grocery store hauls. So today we're gonna be doing a really quick haul. I just wanna show you um, what I have today because it is going into a recipe. I am getting ready to do the haul video. I'm gonna do a cooking video and then I'm gonna bang it out. So I'm doing three in one today, you guys. So today I have some hamburger buns. This has nothing to do with what I'm cooking. You know how your children are. My daughter, she just knows when I'm at the grocery store. She sniffed me out and she said, do you have any hamburger buns? Do you have any green onion? I'm like, I don't know, I'm not home. And she said, where are you at? First, first thing I shouldn't have said, grocery store. Can you pick me up some buns? So, the buns are for Sheena. I have some eggs because you know there is going to be a video this week with some eggs in it. So, I got my beloved sauce um, seasoning packet. So, I will be using that a lot and there's going to be some eggs going on. I also have today some bubbly and this one is cranberry. You know, I've never tried the cranberry sparkling water. So, we're gonna give that a shot and we're actually gonna give that a shot right now. I want to try it. So why not try it with you all? You guys know I buy bubbly and waterly a lot. Those are my two that I really love. I was doing Dasani and LaCroix, but I don't know, I like these. So here is the cranberry bubbly gonna see what it tastes like gonna put it in a pretty glass why because it's a premiere this is the premiere tasting of the cranberry bubbly salut I like it. I like all sparkling water. I didn't think that I wasn't going to like it. Now, the one I'm afraid to try is coconut. I haven't tried that one yet. I like the cranberry. It's nice. Anyway, back to the haul. Let me move this because you, you guys know. I mean, I spilled it. Next thing I got was some grapery sustainably grown non-gmo cotton candy grapes it says these cotton candy grapes really do taste like cotton candy what a fun healthy way to enjoy everyone's favorite flavor from the fair let me know if you agree from jack pandle well jack i'll be letting you know and so will 944 other people that's where I'm at, my subscriber numbers, you guys, 944. Knocking on that 1K's door, hoping to get there by the end of the week. Today's Sunday, so maybe by Friday, I hope I'll be there. Fingers crossed and prayers up. You guys, share me out, share me out, so I can get to that 1K. But anyway, I have some cotton candy grapes. I just got a few. This bag was full, but I kind of emptied it out because I don't know if I'm going to like them, and I didn't want to spend $3.99 a pound for a a big bag of grapes that I might not, I might not eat. I can send them to my granddaughter, she didn't eat them. Anyway, you guys know, I'm crazy, crazy, crazy for a pumpkin spice creamer. I was running low, Who can't do it, gotta have it. So, I got another pumpkin spice creamer. I got some basmati rice between jasmine and basmati. These are my two favorites. Basmati is top of the list right now. So I got some basmati rice to go with the salmon that I'm making today. And I also need the basmati rice. I'll make a double batch because I'm going to need it for my sausage, rice, and cucumbers tomorrow. That's going to be a video. And I've done that video before. And I know you guys are probably sick of seeing it, but it's what I have a taste for. That's what I'm going to be eating. The food will be the same, but the conversation will be different. <laughs> so that's what's going on. 
I've got some Parmesan cheese and it's just the giant eagle brand as is the basmati rice it's just the giant eagle brand that's the grocery store i shop at five minutes up the street um and the parmesan cheese actually is going to go with the salmon that i'm making today a salmon crusted parmesan cheese and i think just recently matter of fact i know just recently because i watched it amber eats did her version of the salmon crusted parm um, and it was huge. It was just, it looks so amazing. And I've made this recipe before. As a matter of fact, I think I have a video on it, except that footage is on an SD card at my daughter's house. So that's why it hasn't gone up. But I truly feel like I've made this. I've done this recipe. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, it's going up. I have some mayo. That goes in the recipe as well. I have some... The um, powdered parm is what I call it. That goes in the recipe as well. I've got some Coupes Dijon mustard in the recipe as well. And then I've got some of those wonderful little peppers. They're great for snacking, salads, and grilling. They're called Pero Family Farms Mini Sweet Peppers. These are so good. These are good with your seafood boils. These are good just as a snack. These are good in any type of ranch dip. And I will be steaming these with the broccoli for the salmon today. Love, love, love it. I've got some unsalted butter, just Giant Eagle brand unsalted butter. Um, with all the boils, you can never have enough butter. That's for sure. And I've got some scallions, green onions. This is what my daughter was asking, did I have? I think I have some, but I wasn't sure. And I knew I needed them for my recipe today and I didn't want to run out. So I've got some green onion. And I also have some lemons. You can never have enough lemons. If you love seafood like I do, you do boils, you do just dishes in general with seafood a lot. Um, you can never have enough lemons, but I do need it for the recipe today. I need some grated lemon zest and some lemon juice, so that's perfect. I have some broccoli. I'm going to be steaming the broccoli, like I said, with the um, red peppers and I will season it up with some pink Himalayan sea salt and some lemon, some black pepper, maybe a little garlic. You'll see that on the plate. And the star of the show is the salmon. And this is farm-raised salmon fillets um, from Canada, actually. So this is the salmon. I'm not gonna open it over my dining room table. That's just too messy. But you guys, that's it. I told you it was going to be brief. It was going to be small, just a small grocery store haul. Um, and I really just ran out and got the things that I needed today for the salmon. And so let's get to cooking. I'll see you guys in just a little bit in my next video. So if you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. Just simply amazing. All you have to do is believe in you like I do. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Like in a few minutes over here in my kitchen. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.